three, two, one. Go for launch. We are back in studio now with the story of small town Indiana innovation on a journey to outer space. It could revolutionize the human transplant process. A made in Indiana 3D bioprinter now rocketing toward the International Space Station. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta here now with more Kylie. That's right, Gary. This is not your average 3D printer. The biofabrication facility, BFF for short, prints human tissue in space for a variety of issues. The bioprinter is an all Hoosier effort in southern Indiana at Redwire, formerly TechShot. The Florida based company recently acquired TechShot, which has operated in southern Indiana for nearly 35 years. About the size of a dishwasher, the BFF is the first ever system able to manufacture human tissue in microgravity. As scientists here on Earth haven't been able to successfully 3D, 3D print hum, human tissue, much of that is because the soft material collapses under its own weight into a puddle. Well, printing soft tissue in space eliminates the pull of gravity so the structures don't collapse. One space customer is a research center focused on the warfighter. Redwire will bioprint a human knee meniscus in space since the injury is one of the most common in the military. The meniscus will then be sent back to Earth and studied in a lab. Redwire Vice President of Corporate Advancement Rich Bowling says not only did Hoosiers build the bioprinter, they'll also be operating it while it's in space. We have our own mini mission control here in Floyd County, where we talk directly to the astronauts who are our hands, uh, you know, and eyes on board the station. And uh, once they get the, uh, the BFF set up for us, then we actually take over from our little mission control here, controlling the equipment, running the machine. Um, and then we do, we do have video. We actually have video inside the device that we can see uh, while we're operating it. And it's so amazing to us, it never gets old to see things floating around inside of our equipment. And the fact that the space station is flying over the earth at 17,500 miles an hour is, is something that's never lost on us for sure. We are all striving toward the day when we can manufacture a complete organ, a complete piece of tissue for transplantation into someone sick on earth. We're, we're, we're off the earth for the earth with biofabrication facility. And we're, I wouldn't say that that's going to happen perhaps even by the end of the decade, but that is something we're striving for. Um, there's, there's also the regulatory process that has to come along as well. This is something no one's ever done before. So I think there's going to be some learning on uh, both sides of the, of the process, whether it's the technology side and the regulatory side. But I think together we're going to, we're going to achieve something um, that will change a lot of lives for the better. And Redwire is no stranger to the International Space Station. It has seven devices on board the space station now, and today's launch will bring the total to nine payloads. A new study by a health policy researcher shows the economic burden of untreated mental illness in Indiana is higher than the value of corn produced in the Hoosier State. Indiana University Fairbanks School of Public Health Associate Professor of Health Policy and Management Justin Blackburn says the study puts the economic impact at an estimated $4.2 billion a year. The Indiana State Department of Agriculture per puts annual corn sales around $3.2 billion. The team of researchers says one one in five people in Indiana experience some sort of mental illness each year, but often do not receive treatment. The report shows the largest cost at more than $1.4 billion per year was premature mortality. Productivity losses were estimated to cost $885 million, and direct health care costs added up to about $708 million each year. Those are some huge numbers, and it really hits home when you compare it to Indiana's corn crop. Right. I think that resonates with Hoosiers. Sometimes these numbers stories, you get lost in the numbers, so it's good to make a comparison yeah. there. Yeah, let's go back to the bio uh, printer, 3D printer, which is mind-boggling. Um, ultimately, and zero gravity is the right. key, right? And he mentioned, um, you know, the ultimate goal is mm -hmm. to, plant, to print transplant organs. Mm -hmm. And he's, actually, you're seeing him There's here. He's the one yeah, kind of scampering <laughs> up the wall. Yeah. Uh, that was on a test flight where he got to experience microgravity and it, he said it gives you a true appreciation of the phenomenon that yeah. it is and what you can do with it. Um, but the transplant organs, what's fascinating is they can print them better in space because if you think of a heart, it has hollow chambers. Mm -hmm. So in space where there's not gravity, you can better print hollow chambers and mm -hmm. you can better print blood vessels that have to stay open. So not yeah. having gravity helps all of those things. Very quickly, uh, uh, 
uh, Red Wire, Net, formerly Tech Shop, right, best right. sales year ever, right? That, for that location in Southern Indiana, yeah. their best sales ever. And he says every payload, or I'm sorry, every um, cargo ship they have going to the International mm -hmm. Space Station in the foreseeable future yeah. has a Red Wire payload on it. So things are continuing yeah. to go up. In Indiana <laughs> Innovation. Kylie, thanks.